Hello, BHC Today. Randy here, and this is my friend Strider. You know, I kind of feel like a dog being cooped up in this quarantine. I feel stuck in the house, kind of laying around. I wander around looking for snacks, but I get really excited when I get to go for a ride or a walk. Therefore, I want to invite you to go on a virtual reality prayer walk with me today which is a great spiritual practice we are free to exercise right now and not feel so cooped up in the house. It's like a normal walk, except you're more aware of God's presence and you're more presently mindful of our community. Moreover, how we can pray for our community. So please join me as we take the stroll together. The first thing I notice when I come home or leave the house is our palm tree right out front. It's so fitting for this weekend celebration as we remember one of the most important days in the Christian faith. All of history had led up to this moment when all of heaven held its breath as Jesus looked up resolutely towards Jerusalem and entered in gently on a colt as a suffering servant and the Lamb of God. Palm fronds symbolize both victory and goodness, so let us pray for that now. Lord, we thank you for your goodness the victory we have, through, we have through your Son, Jesus Christ, that the battle belongs to you. The next thing we walk up on is our neighbor's house. We got new ones moving in, potentially. We have some moving away. So let's pray for them now. Lord, I thank you for our friendly neighbors, that we would continue to love them as we love ourselves that they would remain healthy, at peace, have energy, and be secure financially. And may they not feel lonely at this time. The weather has been incredibly good lately, and creation is just singing its promises. Let's thank him for that. Lord, as I stand here, I hear the birds sing not a note, is sung out of tune or out of place. We see the beauty of the trees and the flowers which you have dressed and provided for. Lord, give us the strength to not worry about tomorrow and rest in your sovereignty as you provide. As we come to our mailbox, I realize not everyone has the luxury of being at home right now. Yay, no bills. They're either essential employees or unable to be at home because of finances. So whether they deliver packages, food, they're in health care or in ministry, let us pray for them now. God, I want to lift up those who are unable to be at home and with their families. Lord, thank you for their loyalty and their services to us. In addition, may each of them be given good health, wisdom, and the financial freedom as we battle this global pandemic. Well, that concludes our prayer walk for today. Thank you for joining me. Remember, our Father is the way maker. He's a miracle worker, promise keeper, the light and the darkness. My friends, his name is above all. As the common phrase goes, we do not know what the future holds, but we do know who holds the future. Blessings to you, brother and sisters. I hope to see you soon. Take care.